welcome students uh, today in the day two of the our chapter that is the fibers to fabrics okay today will be the last class i mean for this chapter number three okay so before what we only learned we only learned about uh, that is the animal fibers okay so that's from obtained from the animals just like uh, you see the from the cot okay and from the sheep from the yak and all okay we already come to know about the how wools are processed and how they are obtained okay and different methods of the processing of the wool and all we already learned okay today in our class here we are going to learn about what that is the that is the animal fiber we will learn right and then today we are going to learn about the this is silk okay so wool already done and today will be the silk you know silk is also an animal fiber only okay uh yeah which is obtained from the what you call the uh silk one okay let us start silk is an animal fiber Okay, silk is an animal fiber. Obtained from the silk worm. Okay, it is obtained from the silk worm only. Okay. Yeah, so this point we have to know. Okay, so. This is a uh, very uh, expensive or yes, we can say very costly uh, kinds of fibers only. Okay, so generally, you know, it is found in the northeast regions like in the Assam and all. Okay, and the price of the plots made by this uh, what we call a silk. Okay, we call it muga. Okay, we call it uh, Assam muga or uh, Assam silk like that also we used to call. Okay, so this is very costly fiber only. Okay, and uh, they are shiny. And all okay so their properties will come okay okay uh, yeah <clears throat> then here we have to discuss about the life history and all okay so before going to that one let us learn about our properties that means if I comes in the equations what are the properties of the this one there is a silk fibers okay so number first point the properties of the silk they are uh, lustrous these fibers are lustrous okay this is the number first point and the second point what we can write okay they are soft Okay, so they are soft. Okay, lustrous. You know the lustrous? Lustrous means okay, shining. Okay, or you say the shining appearance also you can mention no problem. Yeah. <clears throat> Number three. They are strong, okay. But you know, as compared with that of the cotton fibers and all, here they are more strong, okay. Let's keep in mind, they are strong. They absorb less water. Okay, as compared with wool and all. Okay, if we compare with the wool and all, they are uh, uh, they absorb less water. Okay, so these points, yeah, these four points will be the quite sufficient enough. Okay, and uh, here we are going to learn about what that is the life cycle. Okay, a life history of the silkworm. We already know here that is the 
this muga or you see the silk is obtained from the silk one. Then there should be what? Then some life cycles of the this silk one will be there, right? So that's one only we are going to learn now. Okay. Life cycle of the silk world. Okay, so here first of all what we have to know, okay, uh, different stages will be there, okay, so different stages of the deep sleep worm are there, okay, so uh, you know from the adult moth, just like the butterflies type somewhere, okay, so uh, uh, you say from the adult moth here they will give the, uh, they will lay the egg, okay, they will lay the egg and uh, this egg will hatch and it will become the caterpillar okay it will become the caterpillar and this caterpillar they fit on the what you call mulberry leaves okay they fit on the they fit on the mulberry leaf okay mulberry tree i think you may be knowing okay so mulberry fruits is there and uh, their leaves okay also there then in that mulberry leaves okay so they fit on them them okay and then their body will become larger and larger okay and when they become larger they are mature enough at a time what happened they used to make uh let's say they will search for the a place okay or but if we do in the city culture then here all of them will keep along with the bamboo and nearby the bamboo will come and they will make their cocoons Okay, cocoons contain the cellulose or is the proteins, okay? And from their mouth it produce and then they make circles their places and the, the uh, they will live inside that one. Okay, and while making the cocoons only here, when the cocoons are mature at a time only we remove and then by washing only we just we can remove the what are called the the fiber okay the fibers are the stress and then we make into the you say the uh what you call the small fibers and uh, just like uh rasi banai, na? okay then the, here we are processed to make the, what you call the clots that's all okay so let us learn about the in your book also it may be showing the light i mean that the figure also right and that figure is very important okay so that is the life cycles of the you see the cocoons right so or the silk worm nah? so that is very important okay so let us start now okay <laughs> okay uh, just let me write some presentation here okay so what happened here the, the silk worm Okay, the silk worm goes through the uh, generally, just we can say generally it goes to the four distinct okay states. Okay. During its life cycle, okay. For distinct stages, it goes during its life cycle. Okay. Just let me check. In. It's not pending. Okay, thirteen of you now. Okay, fine. Okay, during its life cycle, okay, it goes to the uh, through uh, generally the one, two, three, four. Yeah, four stages. Okay. Yeah. So that's this stages only we have to come to know. Okay. Hmm. Answer from L to Mot. Okay. Except for 
मोट बनकर देर इज दल मोट हो सकते ओके सो देट दिस ओनली वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस वन ओके सो इट डजेंट टेक मोर देन ए कपल ऑफ द मॉन्स ओके सो not that must say text okay yeah so this the four stages only we are going to learn okay so i will wrap these things or this yeah Okay, so what what is the thing here? The female silk moths. Okay, number first one. Okay, number first one or first stage of the, this is that the the female silk moths. Okay. Okay, the female silk moths lays. Okay, about. Uh, Uh, almost three hundred two, okay. From the three hundred two, uh, yes, the four hundred tiny eggs. And yet, okay. So at the time here, a female silk moth lays the egg about three hundred two, four hundred tiny eggs at the time. Okay, so here the egg stays from the first part in the silk moth's life cycle. Okay, so this is the first phase. Okay, the female silk moth, the bigger uh, or you call the uh, moths. Okay, so it will lay the egg. Okay, how many times? Uh, I mean, how many number? Three hundred, say like a four hundred. Tiny. I mean the four hundred uh, tiny eggs. Okay, but just this egg. मोट ने बनाने वाला है मतलब लेस करने वाला है तब तो हंड्रेड ने तो किना हाउ मेनी एक्स व्हाट कॉल द दे विल लेस द एक्स दैट्स यू हैव टू जस्ट वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई राइट तो हंड्रेड इनटू फोर हंड्रेड ओके जस्ट दैट्स ओनली ओके या इट विल कम द फोर्टी थाउजेंड और सम बार ओके इट डिपेंड ऑन द नंबर राइट सो मैं से थर्ट तो इतना ही फोर हंड्रेड एक्जेक्टली होगा या थ्री हंड्रेड एक्जेक्टली होगा वो तो नहीं ओके एंड सेकेंड पॉइंट में क्या होगा ओके इन द सेकेंड केस में क्या होगा ये एड जो देवल हेड्स ओके देवल हेड्स एंड द सिल्क वर्म्स विल कम्स आउट ओके या Hats. Okay, so don't get confused about these hats. That means that uh, the they will comes to the caterpillar only at this time. Okay, in the tiny form. Okay, and uh, after then only here they are going to going to eat uh, what you call mulberry leaves and all. Okay, the eggs will hatch out and feed. Okay. Okay, and feed uh, the mulberry leaves. Okay, they will feed the means they will eat the the mulberry leaves. Okay, so I'll just give uh V E double R why not? So it should be double R mulberry berry. Yeah. So and feed with the mulberry leaves. Okay, so you see mulberry leaves. Okay, so in this mulberry leaves, we are on these caterpillars. Okay, after hatching, then they will eat here. Okay, so generally, actually, you know, in the place where the silviculture is done, there, what happen? 
these leaves they are collected from the jungle and they directly they feed. Okay, or in the large scale में क्या करता है? You see, mulberry tree trees जो plant करेगा. Okay, mulberry trees will be plants. Okay, and then at that time at that place. Okay, so all these uh, what do you call these caterpillars? Okay, mulberry. Ah, uh, yeah, these caterpillars they are uh, allowed to be there. Okay, and they will feed them some there. Okay, so like that also it is possible. Okay, okay. <coughs> Okay, and uh, at this time, okay, at this time, uh, they will eat. Okay, they will eat what? They will eat uh, as much as okay. Okay, uh, okay, then instead of water is not good. Okay, they will eat uh, as much as mm. possible. Okay, and this stays. Uh, we call this stays as the larva stays. Okay. L A R V A L. Okay, and this is of larvals. Okay, uh, goes through. Okay, up to how many days? The last up to the twenty-seven days. Okay. Okay, these larvals. Uh, this of the will last for 27 days. Okay, so this is the uh, second stage. Okay, in this second stage only. Okay, yeah. So you must know that when this eggs hatch, okay, so they come out and uh, they fit on the marble leaves. Okay, and this at this time only this we call it as the caterpillar. Okay, so it comes out as a caterpillar. Okay. Okay, it comes out as a caterpillar and this stage is also called as the larval stage. Okay, don't get confused. This stage is also called larval stage and uh, it will come out as the caterpillar. Okay, so in the number third, in the number third, what will come here? The larvals, okay, this larva and all, they will start secreting the proteins. Okay, they will start secreting the proteins. Okay. This is the fiber. Okay, this is the fiber. Okay, so they will start separating at this test. <clears throat> okay, so here we have to know. The larva is start secreting. Yeah. The larva is start secreting the fine protein. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Protein filament. Okay. filament starts secreting okay that means that the, the larva starts secreting the uh, the fine protein filaments okay this fine protein filaments they uh, started uh, secreting okay uh, from this uh, larva and then this what happened this 
protein filaments they are hardened when exposed to air okay when they exposed to the air then the, they become hardened they become uh, hard okay then the, it will help to make their home okay that's called as the cocoons and all okay yeah okay and this is the one this will be the silk fiber only okay it's harder okay uh this is the silk fibers okay this protein this protein filament itself is the fine protein filament is the what you call the silk fiber okay so this is the silk fiber only okay yeah so at this stage what again happened okay the larva is completely covered the larva is completely yeah so larva is completely okay covered Okay, it will form the cocoons. Okay. Yeah, so this is the number third stage. Okay, we can say, okay. And uh, you must know that uh, uh, the color of these cocoons, okay, the color of the cocoon generally uh, white in color only, okay, but uh, the color it depends. Some are, you see, the brown color types of the cocoons are also produced, okay. So, this color depends on the what kinds of the mulberry, okay, and uh, mulberry leaves they are in, okay. Mulberry are also different types, only, okay. So, what kinds of the mulberry leaves they eat according to that one? The color of these cocoons. That means that is from this cocoon only, that is the fine protein fiber, na? or is it the protein filament, right? And from there only, we are going to get this one. What you call this is the uh, silk fiber. Okay, I told you here this is the silk okay, fiber. Okay, the larva is completely covered with this fiber. Okay, to form the cocoons. Okay, so cocoons will be here. See, this caterpillar you may see uh, on some cases, the cocoons is like this. Okay. Cocoon is like this, okay, okay, and then here it is made of the many fibers, okay. Yeah, so this points, okay. My mic is on only. Everyone can hear me right. My mic is on only. You can't hear me or what? You can hear me only, not right? Ah, then the okay once then this setting that you can hear okay 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 yeah so it is uh you can hear only okay so if not then your network may be a problem okay so uh yeah this is the first stage second stage and third stage let me explain you once again and the last stage we left okay so uh that one the, what we're going to get in here we are going to find out the pupa undergoes many changes inside the cocoons only that is the pupa will be that is the larva the larva starts secreting that this larva will become pupae. Okay, then the, from this pupa only they will come out and they will change to the adult mort again. Okay, so let us first uh, let us uh, remain once again. Okay, the female silk moth. Okay, the female silk moth just say the like butterflies only. Okay, so they lay the egg of the 300 silk acre for their tiny eggs at a time. At a time they will lay the egg that must. And then what happened? The eggs okay will hatch out and fit on the mulberry yeah mulberry leaves okay they will hatch out okay as a larva okay and the larva when they fit here they will become the last caterpillar okay 
Oke. Okay. So, इसके अपना सौदी सेंट्रोपिलर देखते समय so this caterpillar okay so this is uh, generally we call it the larva also, okay and this larva when they hatch directly they hatch from this one what we call the uh, this egg they will call as larva and then when they grown up after eating these mulberry leaves then they will become the caterpillar when they become larger okay so at the time we call it as the uh, what we call the caterpillar okay just keep in mind don't get confused about the larva and the caterpillars Larva just after hatching, okay, and then when they grown up, they will fall as a caterpillar. All right. Then here what happens? So the leaves, okay, they eat leaves on the they eat on the mulberry leaves. At this time, they will eat as much as possible. Okay, they will keep on eating, eating in day and the night, keep on eating and eating only. Okay, so very uh, wonderful, okay, and as much as possible. And this, yeah. Okay, and this, this stage, okay, of the larval, okay, or this is the larval stage lasts for the 27 days. Okay, they will last for 27 days, and then in the next number three, make a what the larva starts secreting the fine protein filaments, okay, which harden when exposed to the air. Okay, from the mouth of these caterpillars, okay, they will produce, they are secreting, they start secreting this fine protein and they will cover their body hold their body okay uh, just like an egg shape okay egg and that shape okay so that means pro with that proteins oh protein kya karta hai jaise ki hawa ke saath milate se kya hota hai bahut saath mata taan ho jata hai okay so that harden when exposed to the air and this is the silk fiber okay jo nikal rahe uska mouth se wo silk fiber hai and then the larva is completely covered with this fiber to form cocoons okay and that's this is called cocoons only, okay so this after adding they cover their body but here you must keep in mind that their body okay so it will be like this inside okay yeah this is C all C4 4 and cocoons okay yeah Okay, so let us go to the last stage of this. Okay, so yeah, what will happen in the last stage? Okay, yeah, if possible, just try to draw this diagram okay, for better understanding. And also, it is given in your book also. Okay, so sometimes used to ask to draw the any two or any three stages of yes, anyone. Okay, okay, okay. I will not draft here. Okay. Yeah, do it yourself. Okay. So this is the number third stage. Okay, and the number fourth stage may come that a pupa, this pupa. Okay. So at the time that this uh, we will call as the pupa egg. Okay. So this pupa undergoes inside the cocoons. What will happen there or not? Okay. Inside of cocoons, inside the, this cocoon here, what is that? This will contain the pupa. Okay. They will undergo many chains. Okay. And uh, after a few weeks later, okay, the adult moths comes out from the cocoons. Okay. Yeah. In the number four, mm -hmm. inside the cocoons. Okay. Inside the cocoon here, what happened? The pupa, yeah, the pupa undergoes many changes. Okay, undergoes the many changes. Okay, ah, uh, yeah, and after a few weeks later. Okay, and after a few, oh, and after a few, wait, okay, so after a few weeks, okay,
the adults not yeah that's correct the the mouse comes out okay from the cocoons okay see or see them yeah and then moth comes out from the cocoons okay so this one okay so what happened here in this time here inside this one the pupa is living there right and then here the pupa keep on changing their body shape like this like this you know okay and then at last from here they will change to what Okay, so like this here as a butterfly, it will come out. Okay, that is the other moth we call it. Okay, yeah. So like this here, the this is a silk moth we can say silk moth. अलग है silk का okay silk moth तो निकल जाता है हर butterflies के साथ चेंज नहीं होता है okay keep in mind so silk ये अलग से होता है okay yeah this is called the silk moth the friendly one okay. Yeah, so yes, yes, I have to draw okay in your book also there, and uh, you have to draw the different stages. Okay, yeah, the first stage is what the first stage is they say before they are uh, they hatch the egg here, right? After hatching the egg, this is the Eggs, okay, and after hatching the egg, they will become the larva, and the larva will change to the caterpillar. Okay, and the caterpillar will change to the cocoons. Okay, will change the cocoons. Okay, that means that they will secrete the, all those proteins, and uh, they will cover their body. Okay, and uh, they will become cocoons. And then cocoons. Okay, after a few weeks. Okay, inside the cocoons, many changes take place. Okay, many changes take place, and then what happens when this pupa? Okay, these changes take place. Uh, many others. Okay, that uh, at last it will change to the silk moth, right? When they change the silk moth, they will burst from here and they will comes out. And then the remaining part. Okay, these cocoons. Okay, this is inside is the uh, what you call a pupa, and this is the cocoon zombie, right? These cocoons are used to get the what you call the silk one. Okay, so this is the different stages: first stage, second stage, third stage, and fourth stage. From the cocoons. Okay, from the cocoons. Okay, silk fibers. Are obtained. Okay, from the uh, cocoon, silk fibers are obtained. Okay, yeah. Yes, like this. Okay, so this is the uh, just we are discussing about the life cycle. Okay, life cycle of the this one, what we call the silk moth. Okay, I'm not a bit that yes, silk fiber ka processing case. I can't tie a bit of discuss naked. Okay, so let us go to the same culture. Okay, to the points. Okay, so sericulture is the breeding and management of one for the production of the silk. Okay, uh, the breeding, uh, the breeding and management. For the production of okay, the breeding and the management. Uh, okay, the breeding and the management. Okay. 
uh, opposite one now. Okay, yes. Yeah. Then went down to opposite one. Okay, yes. Uh, opposite one should be there. Yeah. So one. Okay, the breeding and the management. Okay, opposite one for the productions of calicum. Okay, for the productions of the silk. Now, nah, it's a bit old. The calicum is here. Nah. This one. Yeah. Silk को produce करने जा रहे हैं ना कहाँ से silk worm से right that's right okay the breeding and management of the silk worm for the production of the silk is called sericulture okay it is done in the large scale only just keep it in the mind okay yeah and you must know that uh, the silk worm Okay, so this silkworm uh, are the larva of the wombat mori. Okay, okay, so that is the Bombax B1X, okay? Yeah, now man, Bombax Modi. Bombax Modi ka, it, it is the name of the, they say the, uh, Mot, okay? Oh, Mot jo hai na, jo uska naam hai, okay? तो कुछ नाम तो होना चाहिए ना वही बम्बेक्स मोरी का लार्वा है ये सिल्क वन जो हम लोग सिल्क प्रोड्यूस करता है वो कौन सा मोट का है दैट इज द बम्बेक्स मोरी ओके सो एट दिस पॉइंट आल्सो वी हैव टू नो ओके या ओके सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू गो फॉर द एक्टिविटीज दैट इज द मेजर यू सी इन द स्टेज ऑफ द प्रोडक्शन में ओके प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द व्हाट आई कॉल दिस वन सिल्क Stays of productions of uh, silk fibers. Okay, stays of productions of the silk fibers. Okay, so this one we have to know. Okay, and the uh, lab cycle to hamlok samas chuka hai. Okay, okay. Hmm. This is the. The productions of rose silk. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. The, the production of this uh, rose silk consists of how uh, many? Okay, following steps. Okay, and this are the following steps. What is the step number one? Okay, so if we discuss about the, all those things here, it will include all those also. It means like the yes, so egg of the silk worm moths are incubated until they hatch into the larva. Okay, so all those also that can be included. But before we discuss is the only the life cycle. Okay, so first is the. Uh, the first stage is in culture we can get that way okay the eggs of silk worms okay the egg of the silk worm ko kya karega okay silk moth hona chahiye the egg of the silk moth are incubated Okay. Incubation means nothing. That is the thus uh, we maintain the temperature. Okay, there is the necessary conditions to hatch the egg. Okay, the under ko aisa hi rakkar na iske ye thodi na ye kya kya chicken ka jo under jo hai aisa hi rakkar apna se nikal jata hai kya? Matlab ye chicken chicks banta hai nahi na? So they do not hatch. Okay. That means to hatch the uh, 
uh, add into the this larva okay it needs some temperature water or whatever some necessary condition will be there okay in the sericulture it is done in the large scale only okay so in this sericulture what is doing here what is happening the eggs of the silk moth are incubated incubated means that we maintain the, the necessary conditions to hats okay just keep in mind okay the silk moth are incubated okay until they hats into that one okay until they Hats into larva. Okay, so this is the first phase in the sericulture. Okay, in the sericulture, it is done like this one. Okay, okay? Yeah. number two, man. Then the larva will come out, right? This one, okay, so this the uh, Just eat, just the okay. The larva will uh, it's on the marine leaves. Okay, they will put on the marine leaves only. Okay. For about six, okay. For about six weeks, that means that in a month, okay, there are four weeks. Then uh, one month and a uh, half, right? Okay, one month and a half. Okay, they are producing. Only. I mean that they are feeding. Only. Okay, okay. At this time. No, it not has okay, we'll call it up. Okay, let's keep it in mind. Okay, so at this time or during this period, okay. But sometimes in the market also you are getting, okay, you are eating only, okay. In the market, maybe it's a sleep one more time. Those go, okay, at this time, the soup one. Uh, it continuously, okay. Okay, not high at the yoga. All right, the ground has grown, okay. They eat continuously and, uh, and they will grow here, you know, okay? Uh, yeah. Okay, Magan kya At the ends of this stairs. Okay, wo log to kehte hain bilay banke khate khate nikal jayega na. So at the end of these stairs, okay? They will be ready. Okay. So, kya pani clear ready hai? Okay. To spin their cocoon. Okay. Okay. To spin their cocoons. Okay. So, at this time they are ready. Okay. And ants khate khate zaga itna zaga jab the Okay, so it's not bad. I know the one at the top, then I got a skip, but at the end of the whole way, time for all of my skin to be tanned and boys. Okay, and uh, they are ready to spin into this uh, to what you call the cocoons. Okay, yeah. So, we can wait time for the other time, city culture, man. Okay, small branches. Okay, the small branches of the trees, okay, or the bamboo, okay, but the bamboo cut, okay, 
Uh, okay, so here are small branches of the trees, okay, or you just say uh, some kinds of the bamboos are kept there, okay, uh, in the rearing house. क्योंकि वो जंगल भी तो नहीं रखेगा वो लोग तो घर बना के रखने छाजा कर रखने जाएगा ओके इन दियरिंग हाउस ओके क्लाइम ओके दे विल क्लाइम एंड स्टार्ट क्या करने जा रहे हैं स्टार्ट मेकिंग और स्टार्ट स्पिनिंग इन टू खोपुल्स स्पिनिंग ओके स्टार्ट Okay, and uh, they will start spinning. They are what are called the cocoons. Okay, so at this time only they are going to make. Okay. Mm. Okay, it will take. In a day, like that, it will take eight days. Okay, to spin. Okay, in a day, like that. ये स्टेज में हम लोग क्या करता है पता है ये आदमी जो ये कुकुल्स को भी मारता है ओके ओके द कुकुल्स विल बी कलेक्टेड एंड देन व्हाट विल हैपन दे विल किल द इंसेक्ट इनसाइड द सो द वाम वाइल ना सो दे विल किल एंड व्हाई दे किल बिकॉज़ इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू वेट ऑल ऑफ देम कम्स आउट फ्रॉम द कुकुल्स एंड दे बिकम द मॉट ओके जो क्योंकि जानता है एक नादर मतलब एक मोट ने 300 से लेकर 400 नंबर्स ऑफ़ द क्या जैसे कि एक को करता है तब तो ऐसा वाला फोर सपोज़ 400 एक प्लेस करता है तो हम ऐसा वाला 100 पीस रखेंगे तो कितना आ जाएगा 40,000 ऑफ़ द लार्वा तो पैदा करेगा ना 40,000 लार्वा पैदा करेगा तो क्या होगा उधर से ही चलेगा तो ओके जैसे कि हम लोग सब उसको रखकर ही ओके जैसे कि वो लोग का सिल्क मोड निकल जाने के लिए जरूरत नहीं है ओके अराउंड 100 से लेकर 200 सिल्क मोड ओके मतलब कुकुल जो रखने से उधर से मोड निकल कर ही फिर और क्या करेगा जैसे कि एट्स मतलब तू हैव्स और जैसे तू लेज एक ना उसके लिए मतलब सफिशिएंट हो ही जाएगा ओके सो दैट्स वाइन ओनली ओके दैट्स वाइ वी डोंट नीड टू गो फॉर द ऑल द कुकुंस हैव टू कीप ओके सो दैट्स वाइ हियर इन द नंबर फोर स्टेज में क्या आप इस जाने इन द नंबर फोर स्टेज में हियर द कुकुंस आर कलेक्टेड ओके सो हियर the cocoons will be uh, collected here, okay? And uh, what we're going to do, boil and the heat. Hmm. Okay, so boil for the whole world, I got. We heat the okay? Uh, okay, boil on the heat, okay? On oven. That can be to kill the insect. This is the insect. Us ka kukuns ka upar me bedne se bhi wo kya ho jayega? Wo mar jayega. Okay? Or in the ki kukuns ka andar me jo ham log ka kupa hai, wo log bhi mar jayega. Okay? To kill the insect. Okay? Insect inside the. 
ओके इंसान जो कपूर में रहने वाला हो वो इंसेक्ट को क्या कर जाएगा मर जाएगा ओके या ओके क्या होगा फाइबर्स ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द कुकुम्स Okay, so here the cell fibers are then going to obtain from the cocoons. Okay. By the process, by the process called release. Okay. What is the name? That is R double E L I M T. Okay. So here release process में ही क्या करने जा रहे हैं हम उसको मिल रहा है. Okay. तो मतलब ये रिलिंग जो क्या करता है ये हम मशीन से करते हैं ओके मशीन दे अनविन द थ्रेड ऑफ द सिल्क ओके फ्रॉम द कुकुंस ओके देन रिलिंग क्या है बोल रहा है इट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ ओके हम लोग जानते हैं पहला सिल्क मोट ने असुरित या कैटरपिलर ने जो बहुत ज्यादा मेच्योर होते समय उसका कुकुल बनाया गया था ना कुकुल बनाते समय क्या होगा जैसे कि स्पेशल फाइन प्रोटीन को निकाल कर उसके सराउंडिंग में दे स्पिन किया था इसने तो वो क्या करता है वो स्पिन करने करता है तो उसको क्या करने जा रहा है अनविन थ्रेट ओके तो प्रोसेस ऑफ अनविन Okay, so it is the process of the unwind thread. Okay, of silk. Okay, from the. Okay, cocoons with the help of machines. Okay, it is the process of the unwind the thread of the silk from the cocoons will have the matches. Okay, yeah, this one. Okay, we have to know the terms now here. What is that? Reeling. Okay, so don't get confused. Okay, so reeling का process से आर दे रहे हैं सही है. Okay, तो उसका process ही हम लोग क्या है? That is the cocoons से हम लोग ये मिल रहे हैं. Okay, then number last step में क्या करेगा? That is the उसमें क्या करने द सिल्क फाइबर ओके देन ओके क्या करेगा ये सिल्क फाइबर लोग हम फिर और क्या है स्पिन इनटू द सिल्क फाइबर ओके या so the the silk fibers who are going to match them into the silk strand, okay, and then okay, just yes, have to some here, okay, and the thread, okay, is called what? It is called rose silk, okay. Thread is called the rose silk, okay, fine, and uh, it is used for, uh, yeah, and it is called the. Uh, Rose silk, okay, and this rose silk is used, okay. क्या करने के लिए इस्तेमाल करेगा? Okay, for weaving clothes.
okay so this one okay we mean the corpse which can die in two different colors okay apna pasand ka apna apna color mein kya kar sakta hai to hum log isko color laga sakte hain okay Okay, we can make we can dive into the different colors. Okay. So this is the how we can process. Okay, this is how we can process the uh, you see the stage of the production of it. Okay, so the silks is processed and uh, from the cocoons and we get the fibers and uh, which again process to form the what? That is the plot and all. Okay, so this is all about this one. Okay. Okay, now we'll discuss the health of the workers in the sericulture industry. You know, those people who are working in the sericulture industry, they generally used to suffer from the different kinds of the sickness, uh, different kinds of the health problems used to create. So first one is that, you know, they can cause respiratory diseases okay so they can cause the different different uh, respiratory diseases just like you said uh, asthma okay yeah. okay here it will come just like the asthma bronchitis okay and also here also what happened here they used to cause all this kind of sickness because you know because of the inhalations okay so because of the inhalations of the the fall smell you know the all these cocoons and are used to be fall smell only okay so this uh, uh yeah fall smell that also you say uh, produce only okay so during the process okay the process of the what will be the process of the silk fibers that means the obtaining of the silk fiber only now yeah so that's end only okay, number two point here skin problem used to create okay the skin problem used to create to those people okay you say the skin infections occurs what for that is due to constant exposure yeah so here they will be exposed to the all those boiling water okay so constant exposure yeah so here they used to create only uh, constant exposure okay to boiling water because the cocoons have to boil only right to remove the all those dirty things and all right so boiling water during the process of killing okay there is the during the killing of the insect inside the cocoons you know cocoons are present inside right yeah inside the cocoon there is some insect are there to produce to kill that one only okay yeah, and number third point here comes to here the others common disorders okay some common disorder used to suffer okay uh, they used to observe only those people okay some common disorder observes okay they are what what are the common observations that we observe to those people just like say the server had a okay fever and all okay is fever neck okay gala pen okay neck and also you see you know low back and uh, here also even the this is general 
for the pen also used to happen to those people who are working in this industry okay so then so here these are the health of the workers in circle industry okay thanks for all this is the end of the class